Hello crafty friends, welcome to card number five in full deck challenge number two. Today's prompts are happy scraps, I'll explain shortly what those are, lace, buttons, sentiment. Here is my bucket of happy scraps. I will show you quickly how I create these. They are from a previous video, but I'll give you a refresher. My piece of lace, and then I have a few buttons, and then some sentiments. My sentiments are just little stickers that I have. I found these off AliExpress, but you could use any kind of sentiments. You could hand write them, use something from a magazine or die cuts, anything that you have. Now these happy scraps that I call them are actually originally created by Louise Heinzel. I will put a link to her video below and to my video where I created the original lot of these where I made little heart embellishments and all it really is is a bucket full of scrap papers that you have that you're just going to add color to and different mediums. You can go as bright as you want or you can keep it vintage, you can use inks, watercolors, acrylic paints anything you have. I already have created some. I then added additional little scraps inside and I'm just adding more color. I do enjoy this process. I find it very therapeutic. So I do just keep adding color. Then I toss them about. I let them dry or you can use a dryer to dry them if you want them to dry faster. Just keep adding different colors, splashes. I love adding black splashes and also gold. It brings a beautiful metallic shine. It really is which everywhere you want to create this. It is super, super fun, and I do encourage you to give it a go. Now, when you're going to make your little happy scraps, you are going to make quite a few because you're going to have a little bucket or container full, but there are so many ways to use them. I do have some embellishment hearts that I've created. I'm now going to use these on my altered playing card, and I will have additional videos of lots of other ways to incorporate these super fun little bright colored pieces into your artwork. I would love if you subscribe to my channel for lots of fun tutorials and process videos, including art journaling and embellishment making. Also, don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Once all your happy scraps are dry, you can see all the beautiful colors and patterns and the variety of little scraps that you're going to get. So to start my card, I'm going to just start with the base like I normally do. I'm going to add a piece of white tissue paper using Mod Podge. This will allow the scrap papers to stick on really well when I adhere those to the card. The tissue paper that I use for this is the type you get for gift wrapping. You could also use a napkin style and you don't have to use Mod Podge, you could use craft glue or gel medium. Do add a layer on top of the tissue paper too and dry well. Tear off the excess tissue paper for easier handling. And then dig through all your happy scraps and find the bits that are your favorite. And we're going to use these in layers on our card. So I'm just going to go through mine. There are always so many. Always look on both sides because the way you toss it about in the container, both sides get colored. And sometimes both sides are beautiful and you struggle to decide which one to use. So I found a few and I'm going to start adding them. I'm going to add mine across in strips overlapping them at a similar width and I'm just adhering these with a glue stick. I'm loving the bright pink that I've come on my scrap so I'm trying to incorporate that a couple of times throughout my pattern and I tend to put a planar pattern and then a busy pattern just so you can actually see the difference in the strips. If everyone is exactly the same or quite similar it'll tend to blend one into the other. I do want mine specifically to look like strips of scrap paper. And once they're all stuck down, I'm going to trim them neatly around just using my scissors so it fits the card exactly. I'm then trying to see how I'm going to incorporate the lace on my card. I'm thinking I'm going to add it like a tab. And then I've also got a piece of fabric that's got some fraying, which I like, that I'm going to add alongside the lace. 
Before I add my lace and fabric, I'm going to run my card under the sewing machine and do some bunchy thread. If you'd like to see how I do this technique and sew on paper and bunch the thread, I will add the tutorial video that I've created in the description below. And then I've added my lace and fabric. I've run it also under the sewing machine using a zigzag stitch this time. And then dig through all your buttons. I'm sure as crafters we all have some buttons somewhere. I have found some pink and turquoise ones that I want to use because I like them to match my background paper. But you can use anything you have. I'm just using three but you could use more or less whatever you feel like and whatever suits your card. And then I'm attaching these down with some hot glue. And now I'm going to find a sentiment for this card. I do like this black with white writing. I actually think it suits the card quite well. But like I said earlier, you could also make your own sentiment or use something out of a magazine if you don't have these kind of sentiments. I'm just going to cut this long sentiment down. I'd like to put it sort of in three rows. I'm adding a dot of hot glue just because the stickiness of the sticker doesn't stick that great on the mixed media background. And then I'm going to use a white Posca pen just to do a little bit of a highlight around the sentiment just to sort of make it pop a little bit, just very lightly. And then I use my finger to smudge it a bit, gives it a little bit more of a pop. It's never too late to join in the full deck challenge. Although we've completed the first deck, you can start that at any time. We are now on deck number two. There are very minimal rules. And if you're on Facebook, you can find my group. Just search full deck challenge group. Do join us. It is a very supportive, very creative, inspirational group. And you can share your makes and you can give inspiration and get inspiration. I really hope you enjoyed the prompts for this card and enjoyed watching me make mine. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you were inspired to create your own. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.